The lens blur effect can be used to create a variety of different looks from defocusing and simulating depth of field blurs, tilt shift effects, or anamorphic blurs in addition to the other effects included with M Film Look. The lens blur effect can be found in the eighth icon of your on-screen menu or in the inspector after applying the M Film Look effect to your clip. Clicking on it will activate an intensity and aspect slider control on your canvas. Use the intensity slider to increase or decrease the intensity of the blur or bokeh. The aspect control will adjust the shape of the blur. Using the on-screen controls, you can drag the center to change the position of the blur, or the inner ring to adjust the softness of the blur, and the outer ring to adjust the range. You can access all the same parameters in the inspector, along with additional ones. Let's take a look at another example. In this scene, I have a moving camera and I'd like to keep this woman in focus. With M Film Look applied, I'll activate it and set the intensity and aspect settings. Below the basic lens blur controls is the focus mass settings, a powerful way to specify the kind of blur and placement. By animating the center, X, Y, aspect ratio, and rotation settings using standard Final Cut keyframe controls, I can effectively have my focus follow the moving camera. Using the invert focus parameter, I can quickly change the way the mask blurs. Not limited to just standard blurs, it's easy to mimic bokeh effects with M Film Look. In this scene, I'd like to add a simple tilt shift effect. With M Film Look applied, I'll activate the lens blur and adjust the placement of the mask and my other blur values. With bokeh selected, using gain will accentuate my bokeh effect. You can even adjust the shape of the bokeh by changing the number of bokeh sides without affecting performance.